Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today I actually wanted to show you guys something, kind of show something off, um, a new project that I kind of completed. Well, it, it wasn't really a planned project because I had to basically collect pieces to kind of put this together. Uh, it's still a work in progress, it's not perfect yet. And that is this little, um, you know, full siphoning team that I have going on. And I'm actually going to show a mechanic in the game that actually might be helpful for some of you guys that are trying to farm. Um, this is mostly for story map farming, but you can also utilize this in golems as well, depending on, um, you know, if you want to put in the resources to maximize your efficiency and stuff. I really, really do like that. I like, I like to really just um, make sure my efficiency is at its uh, absolute highest basically whenever I'm farming um, different things as well that's why I make try to make sure I have the the, the fastest teams for um, I think fastest teams is probably probably the most important thing but after that there's actually this mechanic that can increase your gold efficiency um, when you're farming so in order to um, kind of prove a point I'm going to basically put in my fire gen, um and then I'll put in some random units like like actual healer units that don't that don't really do any AoEs, that don't really do a lot of hits. Um, we're just going to just randomly put some units in that are like healers or something like that. And um, what I'm what I'm going to show you guys is basically this, it's an old thing that a lot of people might know. Um, I actually talked about this in the past, but maybe some of the new pl new players don't really know, know about this. And that is the more hits you actually do, you can see in the um, animations as well. If you take a look at um, you know them attacking right now, you'll see that they the monsters actually generate gold whenever they're getting hit, and then the gold actually you know you see that animation where the gold comes back into um, your your monsters or your player or whatever it gets like absorbed in, um, and that's not actually just that's not just a visual effect. It actually has to do with the actual amount of gold that you're gaining. So it's actually the, the amount of gold that um, you gain on a stage is actually based on the hits that the monsters take. So we'll we'll take a really really quick look at this, um, how much gold I actually got from the stage with like just a few random units hitting. So I got five five hundred five hundred um, six six twenty. So I got about one k gold. Uh, just from the monster drops. You always get this gem, so this gem is always going to be extra gold added on top of that. Now I'm going to do another run, and this time I'm going to use uh, monsters with some sort of uh, AOE or something like that. And I'll just I'll just put in some random nukers. Um, actually, wait, I should I should actually just just like what I was using before was I was I was doing this because she she actually has siphon but you know I can actually show some I'll, I'll put in some random morale boosters um, and then we'll, we'll try this again so they actually get their AoEs more and then we can see how many extra hits uh, they actually do and you'll, you'll actually see that the the gold generator is a little bit higher alright my, my they might not necessarily do more hits because they do actually have to do get a full bar to do an AOE to do to do many more hits or else that my gen will just basically finish them off. Alright, at least you'll see these two monas use their AOE on this wave. And then they'll they'll be doing um, some bonus hits. Alright. That was still around 30, 38. Uh, it, it depends on the monster's animation, because if I use everyone that has um, the the fire gen actually has a really really fast animation. If you guys didn't know, out of all the morale boost nukers, the the fire gen actually has the fastest animation. He has the faster animation than the fire Siegfried, Dark Persephone, the Monas, um, the who else is a morale boost nuker? I think the Thors as well. Like he has he has. Fa the fastest animation of 3.3 um, seconds um, to use his AOE. So that wasn't that wasn't actually too good of a showcase, but um, they might have not actually gotten that many more hits. I only generated about about 100 extra gold from that last little AOE. Uh, but I'll, I can actually show you guys now the the real difference um, when your monsters are constantly um, spamming their AOEs like nonstop. So 
I'm gonna go with uh, go with this light Nike, and I think it was my third dark Miho. All right, so this is my new team uh, that I'm using to farm now. So basically, all four of these units are on siphon sets, and um, they'll be able to do the SP leech and then get their AOEs up a lot faster. Problem is, like some of them don't like have morale boosts and stuff like that, so they won't always get their AOEs full. But as you can see, uh, the Fire Jin and Light Victoria do have their bars full now, and then now I have three units with their bars full. They won't always get get their bars. Oh my god, stupid, stupid Yeti coming here to mess up my experiment. All right, we're gonna have to catch her. What if I fail three times? If I fail three times and we nuke her, um, all right, never mind. She she's caught. She's caught. Stupid Yeti coming here to mess up my experiment. All right, so everybody has a full bar now, and I'm gonna be nuking this last stage with everybody with a full bar. You can see it's a uh, it's a lot of hits. Alright, let's see how much gold we got. Even with one less unit. So I actually got 2,300. Uh, or 2,036 2, extra extra gold from that run. Um, just, you know, by, by using extra units to actually help me farm the stage. So I think if I can get my efficiency higher, it means that every single run that I'm doing, um, I actually get more gold. Uh, Yeti kind of slowed down my run, but we'll we'll do another one. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll really really quickly do another one. Um, you can see the the run time versus the uh, the actual gold gain and stuff like that. Now the thing is, my other three units don't have any sort of uh, morale boost, SP siphon skill. They also don't have as much damage as my Jin, so obviously um, they won't always have their bars full. But with the SP siphon set on them. Uh, and there's a much, much higher chance that they actually do get their bars. Alright, so they, they did a lot of uh, AoE nukes. And the time should be around 39, 38 to 39 seconds now. Oh, actually got to 40 uh, and the reason for this why the time is longer than my usual run time if you've been watching me farm on any of my streams it's always 36 to 37 seconds and that's because um, that's the actual actual animation time of the Jin's attack versus the animation time of someone who actually, actually has a slower animation I think the the Indra actually has a, a around a five second animation time for his for his AoE um, and you can, there, there's actually a chart on, on Reddit, um, you can just search Reddit for animation time, and you can, I can actually link that chart, chart below as well. Uh, you can actually see all the animation times of all the, all the monsters in the game. So that was 40 seconds, I still got t over 2k gold because of how many hits I was actually doing. And, um, I think, I don't think it's enough gold to actually make farming Star Sanctuary, um, able to get gold gain. But with with me doing this, I'm actually bleeding a lot less, and all it does is really add about a three, um, maybe, yeah, add, add about like you know three seconds onto my my farm time, which isn't too bad in order to get about you know like twice the amount of gold gain. Because if I want thirty seconds of animation time, um, the the only thing I can really do is if I put in monsters with slower animation times than the Jin. So I'll um, I'll use the Victorias. I like to use the Victorias because the Victorias, I think, I don't think they have necessarily have the high, the, the, the absolute fastest animation, but they actually, I actually have three of them and they have very, very fast animation uh, of three seconds for their AOE. So that's actually even faster than the Jin. So this here should be the the physical limit of of how fast you can farm Star Sanctuary because it's literally four attacks. First attack to charge up the SP siphon, 
Um, and then three more attacks to clear the the extra the other wave. So basically four attacks in order to to um, to to finish finish up the stage. Obviously, there is one way for it to be faster, and that's based on RNG. It depends if you can get every single one of your monsters to hit one different monster, and they all have to be like full nukers to be able to one shot everything on the on the first wave. So as you can see, it's thirty seven. Uh, th it's usually thirty six to thirty seven seconds, and this is probably the fastest um, like physical limit of farming Star Sanctuary because there's um, out of all the morale boost nukers. The Jin has the fastest animation time, so you literally cannot get faster than the Fire Jin. Uh, and 36 to 37 seconds is, is the the literal physical limit of how fast you can farm Star Sanctuary. Um, and as you can see, oh, I got two Dragon Sigils. Um, and as you can see, I got only got 15,000 gold um, compared to the. Tw 2k gold that I would be getting if I was using my SP Siphon team. So I think sacrificing 3 seconds in order to get 500 gold, uh, more gold every single run is definitely is definitely worth it because I would be bleeding a lot less and I would have to spend less time um, actually you know going back to golems farming for gold and I can actually spend more time farming for more dragon sigils so I can get more SP Siphon gems and actually put them on the right units. I think the fastest uh, most efficient farm for, for Star Sanctuary is probably literally Literally to have four fire gins and have them all on SP Siphon, and um, just basically you know have them be able to do enough damage to kill everything and get their bars full um, on the first wave, and then this way um, this way they they basically you know you make sure that you're they're always spamming their AoEs on every single wave um, for maximum efficiency, and I think you can probably get two points like you know consistently get like 2.2 or 2.3k gold every single run um, if you're able to you know always get their bars full and maybe if they all target the unit first one unit at, on the first turn um, that actually might make a difference as well so yeah I just want to kind of show this to you guys um, I can actually show the gems as well now this team is not a hundred percent complete because there's actually one unit that actually doesn't have a a gem like a percent gem and that's my dark miho um, currently, I I have her on double HP and one flat HP, um, but that flat HP siphon gem actually had some HP subs, so I I decided to slap that on her and get it to plus twelve and to kind of use it temporarily. Uh, she does do a, a little bit of damage in order to charge her bar. I'm just trying to find her right now. It's this 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 uh, siphon gem that's still flat, but the other ones are actually HP percent um, siphon gems, and my gen is on triple siphon as well. Uh, crit rate double attack. I use his crit lead to boost his crit rate to 100% to make sure it's always consistent. He's always critting on every single hit uh, to make sure his bar is always full on the first turn. And there's the there's my light Victoria. Um, I basically had three defense siphon gems and I just slapped them on her so she's on triple defense as well. And there, the, the last one is my dark Indra. Um, I happen to have three attack siphon gems that were three different slots. So I decided to basically just slap them on him because he's the only one that can really fit these slots and has the highest attack out of all my six stars. Um, I probably should put this on a morale boost nuker, but I don't have another morale boost nuker that has three different slots. As you can see, this is very sad. Um, yeah, I really don't have any any other morale boost nukes that I can use that has three different slots. Um, I actually do have a wood banshee and I think she actually might work but I would need to raise her to evil 3 and also max her out and I think I can transfer that set onto her she does have a 20% morale boost so it'll be slightly better um, and I think if I max her out she has like around 3 3k-ish attack I'm not exactly sure dang it where is she you know, I have trouble finding monsters all the time. Like, this is very, very difficult for me. She has three... Yeah, almost almost 31k attack. Not not too bad. Um, it's kind of sad her morale boost is only 20%. But they're... Like, I think most of the 4-star uh, morale boosters that don't require you to crit or anything have a 20% morale boost. If I was to use, like, the Dark Mona or something, for example, sh her, her morale boost actually requires her to... To crit in order for it to to work. 
Uh, and the Banshee also has skill books. If you skill her up all the way, she does get her morale boost boosted to 30%. Yesterday, I was actually hoping to summon like a Fire Siegfried with like three different slots. It would have been perfect because I I would just make him Evil too, and he would already have 32k um, with a 30% morale boost and Elemental Edge on his his second skill to make sure he's like nuking super super hard. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I pulled another fire uh, another water one. And I also pulled, pulled another fire gen, but he didn't have three different slots, so I wasn't actually able to use him. He, he didn't have a square slot, so I didn't even want to raise him. Um, if I did, I think I could have gotten him to evil 2, and he would have 25k extra attack, plus the extra morale boost from this skill. Um, he won't necessarily get always get a full bar, but he can rely on the blue soul a little bit to basically get his bar full, and then I can just use like a double fire gen to, to farm um, Star Sanctuary and basically get the maximum efficiency well not maximum but like higher efficiency i don't think i think maximum efficiency is when you get to the point where you have four monsters on siphon um no i think i think in theory the maximum efficiency is actually to to use monsters that um have so, some sort of like really really high bar boosting sp siphon so for example monsters like water i think the only monsters that can really do it is like water arthur and uh and wood balrona because they actually have a 50 percent morale boost and then you know how it's based on hits right so basically even if it's an overkill the um, maximum amount of hits gets you gets you more more gold um so you actually don't want to kill anything on the first turn so i was thinking if you can maybe build the build a wood balrona or or water arthur to get them to to have just enough attack to not kill anything but still get their bar full on, on the second turn uh, then you would get, have the highest efficiency because you would make sure that you only at least kill one unit on the first turn and then on the second and um on the second turn and third turn you like on 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 second third and fourth turn um everybody always has a full bar because they're always using like aoe nukes and hitting monsters and then their sp siphon will just make sure they the sp siphon gems will make sure they always have a full bar basically so yeah that is that is pretty much it um i just wanted to kind of show off this team i thought it was pretty interesting um just to kind of up my efficiency a little bit this way i can actually farm more gold while i'm farming dragon sigils at the same time uh everything just throughout the week i'm actually quite happy because i if you look at capture league there's actually people farming harder than me um catching more yetis catching more legendaries i think i'm only in third because i didn't catch enough legendaries if i caught more legendaries then i actually no he's he's catching way more i'm catching a lot of exotics as well um but i'm, I'm actually quite happy because you know the first first place reward gets you this this uh gets you the legendary egg and then the the, all the second place and, and below gets the light dark eggs. I would actually rather have the light dark egg than the legendary egg because the legendary egg gives you like a four star um, and four stars really aren't all that uncommon but the the light dark egg gives you a chance to pull like some sort of really rare uncommon four, light and dark four star so I, I would actually much much rather get the light dark egg. So I think um, since I've already reached the maximum efficiency, it's basically up to luck now because he, the other guy that's in first place is probably already kind of doing the same thing as me, um, farming in the basically at the at the highest efficiency. Um, well, in, in terms of time, but I think I want to also be able to farm in the highest efficiency in terms of gold, so I can make more gold at the same time while I'm farming dragon sigils. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is more of a theoretical video of me talking about, you know, just some theory craft and farming and stuff. I know this isn't everybody's like interest, but it's it's definitely my my um, personal favorite. Like, I this is my favorite part of the game, just trying to make the fastest farming teams ha have the highest farming efficiency when I'm when I'm farming and stuff to make sure I, uh, you know, I always always uh, get get the most out of all my runs. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys um, learned a little bit. I mean, this video, um, some of the things I'm, I'm talking about is kind of old news, but I just kind of want to show off this new high efficiency team that I have going on. And if you if you guys have any questions, um, be sure to ask. I've been having people um, ask me to do like a QA and a um, sort of video. I think I can definitely do that as well. But, but a lot of times when I read comments, I do, um, if I remember them, um, like a really really good question. I like to also answer those and actually show those on video as well 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.